It's coolant, right? Hmm. For some reason I see oil in there. I'm sure most of you know what this is, what kind of problem that is. <clears throat> this head was replaced maybe a year ago. So I'm kind of um, canceling that option out. I don't think it'll be a head, but either way, easiest solution or um, there is ways you can check this, uh, pressure testing it, but once again, that's gotta come off. Um, so pretty much what we're gonna be doing is removing the oil cooler. That's this right here. So the turbo's gotta come off. Turbo's coming off, EGR cooler's coming off. And it's right there underneath, underneath everything. That's gonna be a fun job. We're getting the parts together, and then um, gotta find time. Gotta find time to get it done, and I'll keep you guys updated. So pretty much what you gotta do is you gotta obviously replace the cooler, then do a flush, and then clean the pink's gonna be fun too. So, stay tuned. This is supposed to be coolant. Um, just so you guys know, this, this truck had red coolant. Oh. Definitely ain't coolant, obviously. So, what we established is, got that off. So, here's the culprit. That's where it goes. Oil cooler. So as yeah, you guys see, you gotta take the turbo off, take the EGR cooler off, put all that right there, all the pipes and stuff, and then here's what we're talking about. Let's go to this one, this one's a little cleaner. Obviously oil cooler, it sounds, it sounds like what it is. Seeing the cools of oil. Got the new ones installed. If any of you guys ever doing this, you gotta make sure you clean this surfaces and the surfaces underneath this pipe. I guess I should probably probably should have documented when I was taking it apart, but like I always say, always in a hurry. But yeah, I got the new ones. These are some um, updated ones, some stainless steel. Um, they got a new system. Uh, so if you see right here. Right there, it took like gaskets. Um, like this kind of little gasket right there, oval shape. Now, underneath right here, I just put an O-ring, O-ring, and then underneath the pipe, I put the two gaskets, four O-rings, and um, that's pretty much it. So, they updated, maybe hopefully something, you know, will be better with these. But you could never guarantee anything, but anyway, I'm probably going to be putting on this uh, that gasket right there. I put it on uh, there. I'm going to throw a little silicone on it, or some grease or something. And then clean up that a little bit more. And slap it on and start, uh, start assembling it. I started at 8. Um, Oil cooler's on the floor about 9.10, 9.15. Took me two hours to clean everything. That's the most important part. You wanna, you wanna make sure you do a good good job with that. And yeah, it is a little messy. Try to do the best I can to stay semi-clean, but there's only so much I can do. But yeah, let me clean this up a little more and I'll show you guys once I'm installing it. All right. Got the inside cleaned up a little bit. Clean the gasket surface. Yeah, I was gonna make sure because this is a big job, you don't want to be doing it twice. So, see what I'm talking about. There's some oil in there that I gotta get out. Good thing I noticed. But that's 
gonna go in later, but yeah, still. Anyway, let's get this gasket on and get this thing in.